Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. Today we're going to be showing the tainted version of Samuel. This is a character that has been in the game for a long time but never had a tainted version. Samuel's one of the originals. I believe he was actually uh, a character in Afterbirth Plus but he recently got a huge 3.0 update that added a tainted version as well as a whole host of improvements to the vanilla uh, non-tainted version as well. But this is going to be my first time playing as this character so let's jump in and showcase this bad boy. From the description on Steam, essentially, from what I understand, this guy still has his scythe, but we no longer have the regular pocket active. Instead, now we have a different active that allows us to sort of plot out a, pl uh, a path of slashes. So I'm intrigued to see exactly what that means and exactly how that's going to work. But essentially, from the way that I, it sounds like it works, you can mark down these little sigils and you'll slash along that path. And, um, I mean, well, let's, let's just try it out now. Yeah, so we do sigil, 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 and we get five. And then when we use it, we do a ranged attack. Apparently, we can also do a quick double tap. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we still have our scythe, which has vastly improved sprites from prior to this update, which is really nice. But I'm guessing what we want to do really here is go... Well, yeah, okay, that's nice. Um, let's try and make a little, oh, I like that, I like that very much so, and apparently, okay, the poop, great, great start, thank you, um, the difference here as well is that the damage increases per one that you pass through, um, so, actually, this is a good idea, if I just, like, pop a bunch of them there and then go... <laughs> That's so good. So if I, I if I pop a bunch of them, the fifth one's going to deal the most damage out of all of them, which is really, really good. Uh, also, this character can now swing over gaps in order to pick stuff up. I mean, we got a golden key here, so it didn't actually matter for this, but you can pick stuff up over gaps now. You, you were never able to do that as this character before. That's really nice. Now, I was just about to say, can I use this for any sort of invincibility? It doesn't look like it. I mean, maybe while we're in this thing here... Double tapping is the thing that cancels it early, or you can slowly put out the sigils and make a grouping of five, and then pass through them all like that. Um, we want to be, so if we want to do bosses here, let's go, um, okay, so we didn't do that much damage there, really. Let's try, I I've got a bit of an idea here, if I go... Ah, a little bit early on that. We've got, like, the wrong champion version of Famine for this, really. That was pretty good. Okay, you can actually... The slice has a pretty decent range to it, to be honest. I am interested to see here if our orbital has any effect on the damage that we deal during that. Uh, let's, let's path on down here and see what we can find. But so far... Pretty simple compared to the regular version of this character, but very, very interesting. <laughs> okay, that is very strong. I like that a lot. We should really go into our um, into our arcade here and just see what's up. We do, of course, have all of the regular mods that I have on for my normal series. And we're currently on my normal series save file as well. Oh, I love the fact that it has, like, that AoE effect. Really, really nice. Now, I will say there is a very small amount of additional lag um, when we use this ability, but that is nothing to do with the character. That is because I'm playing on a heavily modded save file. Do you have to be careful about where we land here? I'm noticing. Right, let's, let's wait until these guys jump over. Beautiful. Get a few slices going. We definitely need some more damage here. Our damage is a little bit lackluster. We don't have any ability to throw, but what we can do is we can go like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, the fact that we can just go... Oopsie, I was facing the wrong way. If I do if I do it like this, maybe. Nah, I need to go like that and then... Like that? Okay. I just want to try and get the hang of that, just because there's going to come a point where I need it. We also got one of these special rocks from the Epiphany mod um, and gave us two black hearts. Cannot dispute that. We also got Kane's other eye, uh, which is actually good now, so that's kind of nice. 
<laughs> I really like that. So I'm probably going to end up using this um, this attack quite a lot. It's going to be one of those situations where I don't think you want to use it all the time. Just because you could... I feel like you could definitely end up overusing it and getting yourself into sticky situations. But for the most part, it's going to be pretty damn good. Especially enemies that chase you. Like, it's just pretty much guaranteed damage. Also, it doesn't have a cooldown, so you can just keep using it. It's really, really nice. I think the bossing is really going to be where it comes into its own. Stuff like Boss Rush is going to be pretty fun. And like I said, that range that it's got on it too. Really nice for the range that it has. Um, I really like that. Now, this is an enemy that chases. So this is going to be good. Oh, bugger. I accidentally spammed it too quickly. Beautiful. There you go. I hit the baby with the last one there. <laughs> that is so satisfying. Wow. Oh my god, that is so enjoyable to use. And um, we've got brimstone bombs here, which honestly aren't that good. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip out on that devil deal. Normally I would take that, but eh. I'm looking for something that modifies our scythe. There's quite a few items with this character that synergize with your scythe and give you a different like version of the scythe. I'd very much like to try and get those. Now, something I should probably check here. Can I do... If I go... Okay, that, that seemed to work. Also, a little bit upsetting that I can't reach those black hearts there. I can, however, reach these pills, which I'm, I'm going to try out. So, I can use this to just do that and then go walk up. <laughs> That's amazing! That's so good. It, it gives you enough iframes to abuse the cash rooms. I really like that. I should have tried that on the first floor, to be honest, but I, I, I honestly didn't even think about it. Um, I also really like the sprite for this, too. Oh, do need to be a little careful about doing that there. I kind of just walk right into that guy. That was a little bit stupid. It's trying to get the sigils as close as possible. Like that. It's also a good way to just get away from things as well. Like going for a strike and then, oh, I, I did try it there. It didn't quite work the way I intended it to. What I was going to try and do there is get up close. So basically I plant this here and then like I get up close and then go whoop, to just zoom away. It's pretty nice for just doing that and getting away from things. So things get too hectic. Oh, I'm out of here. And it also hits anything that's in the path too. That's really nice. Okay, so this is one that, one of the guys that we can't get, so we're going to have to, um... Bugger, it's, it's kind of hard to use the, um... Use the, the shot that he fires. Get over here real quick. It's nice for quick, speedy, backwards movement. Yeah, a little bit tricky in, in parts to, um... To use the the ranged shot for like things over gaps and stuff. It's definitely not Im implausible. It's, it's definitely not that hard. It's just a little bit tricky to get used to. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is this is a top tier character for me in terms of enjoyment. I cannot imagine this getting old anytime soon. Ah, oh, I am gonna have to get used to this though, because I am. Losing a lot of HP to just kind of walking into enemies. And I'm going to keep doing it, I reckon. Lovely. I think this is a situation where we have no need to use our ability. I do wonder if the um, Mento Mori uh, scales with our damage. Data Miner, unfortunately, that is not going to be good. So far, we've had some really good uh, items. <laughs> Goddamn Kane's Eye and the Poop. Kane's eye's not actually been that bad, but the poop and um, data miner now as well. Not particularly my favourites, I'll be honest. Not particularly my favourites. The poop is honestly not bad. It's just not great. Okay, so I've kind of got an idea for how to play this guy. Yeah, okay, that works. You just got to get him close enough. You've got to time it really well with the, the fires, though. There 
There you go. You see how I like managed to avoid all of the damage from the fires up close there? That's really nice. We did get some damage out of this. Range is really good because it got changed in this character. It actually increases the size of our scythe now, which is huge. It means that range is actually valuable for this guy, which is awesome. And um, we'll just keep going down. So far, though, ooh, this is mighty, mighty enjoyable. Like, to, to the highest degree. Uh, one second. All right, let's continue on, shall we? Yeah, that capsule thing there wasn't too bad getting damage out of it. Oh, did not mean to pop that. But you can see we get a new scythe out of it, though, which is pretty cool. Ooh, wait. Oh, no way. I just noticed that if you get herming properly, the sigils allow you to herm in with this. That, that is really cool. I didn't expect this to have synergies. The fact that it does is kind of amazing. Uh, so I'm, I'm really hoping to get herming or something similar now. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. A room cleaved in twain. Rooms like this are going to be a little annoying. I'm just going to have to play it slow, I think. Play it slow. Good. No use to use Amamenta on this situation there. Doesn't really make much sense. But considering this is not a great run, and we're doing pretty well. Oh, this is a fun one. <laughs> right, you come into my web. Huzzah! <laughs> I just, I really like the ability, like the idea of being able to sort of draw your own sigils. Oh, <laughs> and I managed to cover so much of the room there as well. Yeah, being able to like draw your own pattern with it rather than it being like a set pattern is really nice and allows for a more customization. Oh my god, just just look at how satisfying that was. That was amazing. Like having extra speed with this guy seems like it could be really fun. Damn it, walked into that guy. Yeah, extra speed could be really good. Flight seems like it'd be really good. There's definitely a lot with this character that I think could really work well with him, so I'll be looking out for anything like that that I can get my hands on. But these guys, of course, aren't all that great for us because they take a set amount of hits. Oh, bugger. Little bit difficult to do that, to be honest. Make shops free, entering triggers a random bad event. Let's go for that. Shops being free is pretty good. Oh, yes, indeedy. I love that. Yeah, we do have enough for a shop item at the minute, or nearly. I wouldn't say exactly enough, but nearly enough. Um, but still. Oh, oh, come on now. These guys, always problematic. Always problematic. I lost my burn heart. Bugger. I might need to start playing a little safer, because at the minute, I am risking it for the style points quite a lot. Ah, oh, bugger. I'm really not doing well here. <laughs> Everything's gone wrong. Bedtime story, it's definitely better than the poop. But another active third one in a row doesn't exactly excite me. Ow. Oh my god. I have lost a lot of health. Thank you for that soul heart. It was necessary. I need to remember that there's really not much point trying with these guys. Good. We got our boss. I would like to find the shop, but honestly, I don't know where it is. Ooh. Okay. 
the, the bedtime book, whatever you want to call it. Pretty good with this guy. Pretty good with this guy. Placenta's decent as well. Right, let's keep her going. I'm a little annoyed we haven't had another devil deal or anything yet. I think we lost a burn heart on that floor, so that makes sense why. But we've been getting kind of unlucky with that. Ooh, I am not a fan of these rooms. How exactly do I? Okay. No thank you on you. Oh! I, <laughs> I forget how these enemies work. Okay. Let's go sleepy time. Oh, this book. This book is incredible with this setup. Because the enemies that are asleep take two times damage as well. Paws would be also really good with this setup. But this is essentially a slightly better paws. Oh, do you see me hit myself there? That was stupid. One of you needs to drop me a soul heart really badly. Damn it. Beautiful. Grab that. Love that you can grab stuff from behind rocks. So nice. If these guys are still doing their thing regardless, be careful. Um, I want to just test something real quick. Yes! That's awesome! That's so cool! Okay, I had, I had to know if it worked, and I am so happy that it does. Wow, I'm so happy that that works. That is, that is a lot of fun. I can imagine there's quite a few rooms where that's pretty applicable as well. Oh, okay. I thought Pride followed you. Okay. Taking bad damage, losing devil deals once again. Honestly, this has been an absolutely atrocious run in terms of my skill level. In terms of how I've performed, it's just been abysmal. But in terms of the enjoyment of this character, it has been ludicrously high. Ludicrously high. Do you know what? This 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 is a room that calls for this. Beautiful. Get this on a one room charge and we are absolutely in the money. I barely need my scythe anymore. The scythe is but a thing of the past. If I get a full run reroll, I will take it. I I like the thingy, um, the nighttime story, but I need more damage, and I did get it. Unfortunately, I got two HP ups that didn't give me any HP up, which is a little upsetting. Um, that just is what it is, I guess. The uh, little buddy we've got floating around with us could be really good for finding secret rooms and the like. Okay, I don't know how you got hit there, my guy. I don't even know what's alive. Oh, it's you. Hello. You managed to hide yourself conveniently. Fettered heart here. Really good. That is not so good. Crawl space tinted rock is exactly what we need right now. Crawl space could also be really good. Fairly happy with the reroll thus far. Uh, how exactly do I get over here? Do I have to launch myself on the ladder? Hmm. I maybe I have to do the bomb trick. If it's the bomb trick, I have no idea how to do that. Just a minute. Okay, no, no, no. I need I need the one in the air to be my first sigil. Honestly, honestly, this, 
this is something special. You have created something truly beautiful here. The fact that these little weird workarounds that I'm just trying off the cuff to see if they work, and so far all of them do, is is just incredible. Also, where was the heart? Where have the hearts gone that were in here? <laughs> there was a heart on the floor I was looking for. It has now gone. Although there is a heart in here now. Good. Honestly, yeah. That is the fact that that worked. Really enjoy. Really enjoys me. I was gonna say it's really enjoying. Enjoying is really enjoyable. I can't speak. Just just leave it at that. Beautiful. The fettered heart here is going to mark enemies as fe uh, fettered and they will um, hurt all of the enemies in the room when we hit them. It's going to be quite nice. The Harlequin baby here is what it is. Um... 50% chance to break, teleports you to the start of a room and rerolls all rooms previously visited. Rerolling them has the following effects. Eh. That's not that amazing for us, to be honest. Got another one of these rocks. Got a red chest out of it, which gave us a bomb. You can charge those up by killing enemies, but I'm not very good at that. Okay, good, good, good. Boss time, and it's a double trouble boss as well. That was that was pretty fun. Would you like to come into my web, sir? Would you like to come into my web? Huzzah! <laughs> that was a mistake. Foolish fool. We did get the uh, angel deal as well, surprisingly. Uh, mustard seed, gain a heart container. Okay, people have told me how this works now. Gain these stats. Every floor I don't collect any other items, I get this effect again. I thought it was if I don't collect any consumables as in like, uh, like things off the floor. I always call those consumables because you consume them. But it says collectibles, I'm pretty sure. Okay. The, the re-roll has really helped us out a lot here. How did I get hit there? God damn it. Second secret room. The money ain't bad, but otherwise I don't really care. Right, to the next floor. So yeah, if next floor we don't take any items at all, we get the mustard seed effect again. Which is honestly not a bad thing, especially on the womb and onwards. We'll see what items we get in our item room and stuff, won't we? And see if it's if it's worth it. Golden troll bomb, love you. Leave you in there for now. Damn it, that was a, a pretty big whiff there. Good, good. Definitely glad that we've got more damage now. We got one of the platinum poops. He actually had a platinum poop effect as well. That's so cool. What's alive? What, why are you still going? Oh, there's a button in here. I see. We just got a lot of money. Yeah, those platinum poops are, are hella rare. I've got an idea. Oh, little scythe buddy, you stole it from me. Oh, whoopsie. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it worked. <laughs> didn't didn't really work the way I planned it to, but it worked. I'm pretty sure these take um these take red hearts first. Yes, they do. I'll play out this chest. See what we can get. Wood clock. Not bad. Um, I didn't actually have a look there, but it it did say a specific synergy with my um with my thingy. My my bad for not checking that. Um, it said about a specific synergy. It did make, I believe, red for a brief time, so that's good. Damn it, that didn't really do anything for us. <laughs> that did the... That did the...
this it's just unbelievably satisfying ow who just farted me into that fire very rude okay taking some damage i shouldn't be right now Honestly, the only tough thing with this is trying to not accidentally press it too early, like double-click it too early. We've already taken Blood Clot this floor, so we might as well just keep taking items. I did want Blood Clot, though. I know that it cancels out Mustard Seed, but Blood Clot is not a bad item to take. I wish I'd have read the description. I didn't realize that the items would have descriptions specific to um, this. Oh, hello. Got some contraband to deliver here. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I deliver some drugs as this axe-wielding boy. Good. Right. Now this is going to be a little hard because we don't know where these enemies are going to show up. Doesn't matter, we killed them all. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, this is going to be a little tricky because we don't know exactly where they'll show up, but didn't matter. Oh, there was creep there, I didn't even realise. Thank you for the soul heart. Allow me to repent for my sins. It seems the Fettered Heart only triggers on hitting them with Animento. Good, y'all taken out. Get out that pipe. Your boy is annoying. Oh, come on now. There's more. It's a really, like, good way of dodging damage as well. Got you. Hey, you got all of you. Nice one. Right, item room. Tier game is fantastic here. Every enemy we kill, we get a different tier effect. That could mean different sides. Good, good. Do you explode? You do explode. We've also got Milk of Bathmet, which means random on-hit effects. Which isn't always a great thing. Champion Belt is awesome for the damage. I'm going to certainly take that as well. Right, this floor was definitely one where we would have been taking items regardless because we got a lot of good stuff here. I really like the way the blade changes colour. Right, let's get the hell out of here. I wonder if there's any other secrets that I can use this for. Like any other hidden effects that I can use the Memento to, to, to utilise. Because it's got... A lot of them already that I figured out. I'm sure there's more. Nice. Oh, there's one of the tier effects triggering from tier game. Looks like we've got Mum's contact for a little while here. Awesome damage. We've got Aya Belial right now. Every time we kill an enemy, it will change the... We got some sort of D20 effect then. Don't quite know where that came from. Ooh, there's fires lighting under our sigils. I'm waiting for one of these segments to pop out here. Not the right one, but there you go. There you go, beautiful. We get the negative. Very nice. <laughs> Frozen enemies just get like bopped around a little bit. We can hand in our contraband on the next floor here. A 
Let's have a little look, see what our contraband boy ends up giving us. So this will mustard seed get used here. Yes, it will. None of those are worth worth using for us right now. I do like the sanguine hook, I'll be honest, but it just doesn't do anything for us really. And yeah, the, the, the pills and stuff. So we're not going to take any of those. That is really unfortunate because the contraband fella can give you a lot. I'm really looking forward to tier games showing us all the different effects here. I'm not looking forward to getting hit twice by those bloody things because we have to get up close and personal with them. That was very frustrating. Excuse me? What the hell happened then? Did that dude jump on me? I've never seen that before. That is an effect of those guys I am not aware of. I need to get more health pretty soon here. If I die as this guy, I die as this guy. I'm not going to be that worried about it. It is what it is. I'm getting really confused at just what's hitting me. Like, what was that? Uh, it's clearly something I just didn't see. It was at the corner of my eye or whatever. I don't know. It wasn't where I was focusing, but... The confusion with me here is heavy. Oh, crossbase. Well, I thought it was a tinted rock. Not bad. Oh, he's, he's, it's reflected, though. I would have to take damage to take this, but... We get two of them, so... I don't mind it. We get two of them, so I don't quite mind it. I'm definitely worried about my HP right now. Oh, these black these black webbings are horrible. Rotten tomato effect here. Be very careful I don't accidentally bomb myself here. Or, like, throw myself into his bombs. Fishtail doesn't do anything for us, but we don't have a trinket, so why not? No hearts dropped by that guy, sadly. Oh, we've taken two items, you fool! What did I just say I wasn't going to do? It's, it's very, it's just... Not in my nature to not take items. It's very hard to get over that. That was a little annoying to take that damage. Oh, no soul hearts either. Is this creep that... Yeah, thank you. Go away. Pair throw is pretty good. I have a feeling we are going to get this run cut short here. I've just not been playing all that well. <laughs> and I haven't really saved up HP in the end game here. I mean, I might as well take remote detonator at this point. Come on, HP. I'm feeling lucky. Guess I'll take that. I don't know what that does. Give us a minus one to my luck. Sounds good. Oh, God, it's these guys. Come on, give us a red heart drop. You know you want to. <laughs> Dude, that was idiotic. I just assumed they were latched, forgot they could move. Just kind of stood there and took it. Didn't really make any effort or attempt to get out the way. And it looks like we are set to perish. Freezing effect, nice. I don't know why I keep going for that bomb, it's very dangerous. Can't remember what you do. Right, this this second secret room could be our hero or baby. It could still be our hero, baby. It could still be our hero, baby. <gasps> yes! <laughs> okay. 
Pair throw or bad trip? I think I'm going to hold the pair throw for the boss and then take the bad trip pill. Okay. That has made me very happy. Don't remember what this guy does. Ooh! I don't know what effect we've got on right now, but the, um... The thingy stays with us. Um... Don't, don't know why it exited me out the room there, but... Okay, thanks, I guess. Not gonna exit me out the room the time I get hit, though, are we? I'm not sure what this is about. What on earth? Is that the Ouroboros worm that was doing that? Okay. I really don't know this boss very well, do I? Dude, 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 I killed him. No, I killed him. No, 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 no. Rewind. <laughs> Is it going to work? Does rewind even work anymore? Maybe. <laughs> I might have just crashed the game. <laughs> oh, I tried it. No, I saved myself. Okay, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I don't care. I just didn't, I didn't agree with that death. And I'm having too much fun, I'll be honest. I'm having way too much fun here. I have, I've, I've literally never fought this boss for more than about five seconds. I don't think I've ever seen the, the phases that he is currently putting out here. Like, what are these little little eyes and stuff? What, what are these? Wanna like get over here? I'm waiting. Well, that was intriguing. I, I, I don't care that it's cheating. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go to the next floor. Um, I think we ought to take the full health rather than the pair throw here. I, the only reason I'm, I'm I'm reviving myself here is because I literally bombed myself. I tried to bomb him, I put a bomb down, and I accidentally just blew it up right in front of my own face. It's just idiotic, and I really want to play this character for more. This showcase is a lot of fun, and I, I want to really showcase the character. I want to I wanna show him off more, because he's hella fun. Why else? Look at that. And yeah, I'm really liking the uh, the whole thing with Tier Game right now. Where we're getting to see multiple different effects. <laughs> okay, we have to try this out, right? That's so cool. I'm definitely taking that on board. Finally, a Roboros worm has a use. It seems to have Herming as well. Okay, let's just kill this guy normally, because he's just been a pain. Turn the Grok there. Oh shit, I forgot that you would turn into a slime. Um, okay, there you go, you, you did die. Thanks for that. It's okay though, we handled it. <laughs> this is so wacky. This is so wacky. But yeah, the, the, the ability to just rewind your death is something that I don't use often, but I really enjoy doing. Um, like, if I, if I either... 
I'm having too much fun on a run to want it to end, or if I think I die to a glitch, it's super useful to get out of a situation. This situation was just that this is a showcase video. I, I want to play it for longer to give you more, guys more of a showcase. Simple as. I mean, we wouldn't have had, been able to see this wonderful Ouroboros worm synergy we've got going on right now had I have left it at that death. I mean, come on, you are, you guys all want to see this, right? Daz lost coin. No, thank you. We're not taking anything this floor, even though that is a range upgrade that I do kind of want. Want to come over here? That last hit, the last like two hits just do bonkers good damage. We got just a little hand over here. Oh god, you landed directly on top of me. Not a fan of you. Or you. Beautiful, spinning around at the speed of sound. I don't like remote detonator, it's throwing me way off. Gift card's pretty good, but we need to keep our bad trip just in case, because it'll tend to a full health if we get to low HP. You just get so much more range and AoE on the attack if you use um the 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 Ouroboros worm. Because it's it's just tr you're you're traveling a much larger arc. The soul heart there, lovely. This is definitely the situation where it gets a bit mucky. I think I'm going to have to almost exclusively use bombs here. You get out of my face. Stop spawning things. It's not funny. There you go. That wasn't so bad. We do have a devil deal here, which we'll check out. Um... Pin shot's kind of interesting, but I don't think it's the right thing for us. And hush is also not really the right thing for us, I don't think. This character does not seem conducive for doing hush. Also, we gained our stats because we didn't take any items. Ooh, it turned everything into uh, freezy freezies. That, I, I, again, I don't think I want to take that because I just no point taking items at this point. <laughs> it almost took every single one of them out. The fact that it gives you those short iframes as well to make sure you don't get hit by the rogue shots afterwards. I'd rather get this guy if he jumps into us, but... Ah, I did good damage there. I did manage to get hit in the process though. Golden bombs there. It's pretty pretty interesting. All right, come over here. It's going to take you a while to cycle back over here, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Did you seriously just hit that goddamn bit? God damn it. There you go. Okay. Oh, I should probably go in here. Oh, fuck. Okay, I've been hit multiple times already in here. It's, it's, it's all going pretty bad. I just didn't double tap when I went to go through the door, which means that it just doesn't work. You gotta double tap. Dire chest unlocked. Is that a good thing? Probably not.
Now that I've got golden bombs, let's try and get some good out of them. Boom. Magician? Kind of nice. One second. Okay, let's try and find ourselves a certain e boy. Certain enemies that do attacks like that, you can definitely get hit by when you come out of the, uh... You come out of Memento mode. I don't really know what to call it, to be honest. Memento mode. The sigils. Beautiful. Good. good. We do have a Dharmamic here. I will bomb it. See if we get some soul heart. Okay. We've got the ability to smell a trinket. I actually don't think we need to do that right now. One soul heart isn't worth the cost. Although this trinket is amazing. Want to come over here? Take a little walk. Take a little walk on the wild side. Okay, he did manage to get me. <gasps> Heart capsule. Yes. That's so amazing. Okay, did we get everything there? We, we got hit, but we got everything. Come near me, boys. My, honestly, my mini dude is doing great. Didn't mean to trigger that that early there. That was a bit stupid. <sighs> well, I got a blackout out of that for some reason. Okay, that phase is done. That was good. Ah, oh, bugger. Just get in there with a hit. Okay. Not too bad, not too great. Not too bad, not too great. Just remember we got a full health coming up. If we need it, that is. We get, on death, enemies have a chance to stay alive for slightly longer, then explode and fire four brimstone lasers in cardinal directions. Sounds interesting. Also, this is very good. Yeah, I'm just going to take that. That sounds really good, but I don't think I can afford the HP loss right now. But, the plus six damage, I can certainly take. I love that. The fact that it can kill all of my- Whoa! Whoa! That's a lot of soul stones. Cancer. Okay, we probably won now. Cancer's amazing. What's this one? Essence of Judas. Um, Turns up to two collectibles in the room into a choice between- uh, Ooh. Okay. Monstrance, pretty good. We've also got whatever this is. Soul of... Oh, we got our, our soul. Enemies in the room... In the current room will die, drop souls on death, spawn pickup rewards for collecting a lot of souls. We'll try it out. We'll come back for the rest of you. Okay. Grab another one of these. Circle of protection. Honestly, I think we just carry another one of them. 
saw the keeper doing so well there. I don't even know how I saw the keeper spawned. I haven't got that unlocked. Or saw the Zazel there for that matter. Or saw the Jacob and Ease out. There's a lot of them things here that we don't have unlocked. Right. Honestly, now that we have the let's let's take this now that we have cancer. I want to try out Hellfire. It sounds really interesting, and we have very good luck. Odd mushroom. Quite a big damage down, but a huge fire right up. I can deal with it. There you go. Okay. That's pretty amazing. That's that's a lot of brimstones. That's pretty amazing. That's really amazing. The fact that the enemy stays alive a bit longer is a good downside as well. I like this. We also lost our pill at some point. I don't know where that went. I don't think we'll need it though, so it's kind of fine. Holy shit. Some of the effects. They like stay in like a rage mode. Pretty cool. Cause like they can they can keep still attacking you during that time. But they brimstoning, boys. They do be straight brimstoning. That is such a cool item. Very strong with this amount of luck. I imagine on an average room where you have like maximum of like three luck, it won't be quite this strong. That is really fun. We have gone all the wrong ways here, unfortunately. <laughs> you think you've got brimstone? No, 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 no. I have brimstone. This item is insane. <laughs> also, I seem to be creating brimstones out of things that seemingly don't exist. dying here. A lot of confusion. A lot of things dying. Bugger of an enemy. Do not like you. Bugger of an enemy. Do not like you. There you go. Brimstone, a bunch of spiders there. The fact that it can chain reaction to is, like, ludicrous. Like, I didn't kill a single thing in this room. And a bunch of brimstones have gone off already. I don't even know what's going on. Legit no idea what caused those brimstones. Okay, wait, there's a soul heart in here somewhere. There it is. Take that real quick. Like, some things are just turning into brimstone without me doing anything. Without any interference from me. Come into my web, please. You're not going to bother coming into my web, are you? It seems to be the purple 
technically deals damage and is somehow killing things, even though that doesn't seem to be the actual case. Haha, -ha, your pentagram. I abuse it. My very own nefarious agenda. I love the fact that the scythe is just so... Like, the scythe is so fucking cool, and it's not even the coolest part of this run. Also, I just sliced that man's head off. That was pretty cool. Um, yes, please. Why not? <laughs> See? Now, all of this cool shenanigans we would have entirely missed out on had we have just let that run die where it died. Is that really worth it? Just for the integrity of saying, hey, I played this run legit and died when I died. No, we had fun. So, we had a lot more fun. So what the game's about. I play it the way I want to play it. Most people don't have a problem with this, by the way. I'm not saying it as if all of you have a problem with this. I'm just justifying my decision. Oh, it's the blur. Well, we, like, dragged him with us then. That was kind of cool. We get Whipping Cream, which is Shot Speed, which I think is one of the stats that is useless for this character. Okay, Mum's Eye is, like, making this hell. You coming in? That you are. Two. I feel like the health fire thing is making us kill things a lot quicker than we'd otherwise be killing them. Maybe it's just because I've got a lot more damage than I had before. I am taking a lot of damage right now. is isn't great. Like that, that was just bad damage. That was just bad damage. It's because I'm using the uh, thingy ability too much. I'm using Memento way more than I should be. But it's just fun. And yeah, I feel like 7 luck is like the threshold for a 100% chance or something. Because it's happening, maybe not 100, but like 80% chance of it happening. Because it's crazy how often it's happening right now. Everything just turns into a brimstony mess. Don't shoot me. Okay, it doesn't really work on these little dudes. Hey, a shock. Hey, a bum friend. God damn it. Walked right into that enemy. Gonna be doing that a lot, I think. Oh my god, it's Dead Crow. Yes, I can't believe we got Dead Crow. Ooh, secret room. Second secret room, even. I'm gonna play you because I want HP. Come on, pay out. Dude, that's not fair. Hey, you gave me it, thank you. Almost, almost tried to escape from me. He tried to leave this mortal plane a little early. Did not respect. What the hell's this enemy? What on earth are you? That is something I've never experienced before. Everything's brimstone. Where does boss at? Where does boss at? <laughs> Something's going on with the slicing. It's happening way more than normal.
I think it's maybe to do with the fettered hearts where things are going wrong. I don't know. At this point, it's just hard to tell. So much is going on. We just don't know. Excuse me. Come on now. That was really rude. And that was even ruder. I'm going to have to go back and get HP now before I do the boss. Quite a lot of HP, actually. I don't hit a lot. Or he could just drop me to right on the floor. Okay, so actually hitting Delirium with this, I believe, isn't going to be that plausible. I think Delirium is going to be a relatively hard fight, I'll be honest. We can do good damage to him, but us not getting hit is another story. Oh, whoa! I was letting out stern then. What was that about? And I dropped an item. Box. I got soul and a strength card. There's also bombs about that I didn't place. I'm so confused. Trying my hardest here, but I've got to stay so close to him to get good damage on him. It's actually working out pretty well, to be honest. I'm dealing like a good 20 or so percent. Not 20 or so, more like 10, 10 or so percent each time I get in there. Attacks like this are what make it really difficult, because I just... I can't get in there at all. Wanna come to me? You're not Delirium. You're just one of his minions. Okay, that was good. That I got him really close to me there. Why is there so many bodies on the floor? Stop letting the bodies hit the floor. It's annoying. Why are you firing at that now? What is this? You coming over here? Bad idea. Oh, that. That was the Buku Books damage right there. Is that it? We got it. Oh, God. That was, that was some tricky stuff. That was some tricky stuff, but we got there in the end. That was... A ludicrously fun character showcase. This character is very, very good. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a blast. And yeah, let's uh, move on to the next one. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.